Praise to Yahweh, Bashan Yahweh Shai, double honor to the elders of GMS. Peace and blessing to the Akim that's out there teaching the word in true theory, man. Shalom. It's your brother Yakanan. Coming back at you with another quick hit, man. And this one, you know, I want to go into the, uh, the nuclear missiles, man, and how they're going to be used in the coming days. And my, uh, my first scripture is uh, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 16. It says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. And pretty much your modern day smith today is, is the uh, the scientists. You know, and, and when you look at the scientists today, those are the ones who the most I have put the spirit on, put the spirit on to uh, split atoms. And uh, we, you know, I talked about it a long time ago on the. Uh, on the block one time how pretty much look how the most I put the spirit on them, on these Edomites and look at the times of old how these Edomites went from riding in the Model T's and Model A's back in the day the early 1900's to the, the technology they have now man the most I put the spirit on this man to, to split atoms and to create nuclear missiles man to destroy that basically that can destroy a, a whole nation one drop and and pretty much you look at your modern day your modern day uh well, well not my bad this uh the smiths of old which they still have smiths around the day those are one those are the ones like the blacksmiths and the gunsmiths they make your they make your instrument of war you know they repair a weapon for you or they build you a weapon man they forge it out of forge the metal out of uh with the fire hammer it hammer it and uh you know, grind on it, whatever, to make you an instrument of war. But those, but in this scripture here, it's talking about them scientists, man. And they have brought forth that instrument. That's the nuclear missile that the Most High is going to use and put the spirit on these nations to use to destroy America and other uh, different countries around the planet, man. But I, let me read it out. This is uh, Isaiah 54, verse 16. It says, Behold, I have created the smith that blew up the coals in the fire, and that have brought forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. And, that, and that's the nuclear missile. Because it's going to be a big destruction, man, with those things. They're not, they're not for play. They're not to be put up in a museum and hung up to be waxed on and wiped on all day, man. Those things are going to be used on the planet Earth. You can't destroy it. A nuclear missile. The radiation lasts for down there what a million some years. So they're gonna be used in these times, man. You know, we, we you look at you look at uh the different wars in the past or this this war that America has stretched so far thin out in, you look at that and you'll see that uh you'll see oh it it's been going on for it's been going on for down there uh ten years, ten years plus. But this, you know, the, the World War Three, you know, I don't really think it's going to be that long, man. It's going, it's going to start off, uh, maybe so on the ground, in the air, in the sea. But the most I gonna put the spirit on those nations, man, to to drop that thing quick, man. Drop those, hit that button and drop those missiles quick, man. 
and make a swift destruction of this place. Let me get this next scripture. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is uh this whole thing here good, but I just wanted to get this one. This is uh Jeremiah chapter fifty one verse eleven. It says, uh, "Make bright the arrows, gather the spears, shall I, shall I gather the the shields." The Lord has raised the raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, which is our Russians, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. So when it says, "Make bright the arrows," the arrows are talking about the nuclear missiles not an actual arrow like i said not an actual arrow with a with a, with a, a metal spear in the end man you know when you when the, the prophets back then when they described certain things they, they described it in those time in their time and they try to interpret it the best way they could so the, you know the, the a lot of times in the, in the scriptures when it talks about the arrows it was it was describing a nuclear missile that's what it looked you know in the vision you know, in these times, that's what it looked like to them in the vision. It looked like an arrow. And, and, and they're going to be used, man. They're going to be used to bring to bring forth the Most High's uh, kingdom, man. How about Shinyal Shai's kingdom? Shalaka, let me... I forgot what it's... I, don't, I think it's... Let me look. Let me make it, get it quick real fast. I think it's 50... Uh, I think it's Jeremiah chapter, uh, yeah. yeah it's going to be quick, man. This is, uh, because, you know, this is another scripture that, may, you know, references it to, uh, an actual guy, like, with an a archer, uh, a guy that got to have, has a bow. This is Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 29. It's it called together the archers against Babylon. Now you know, the average church minded, uh uh small minded person in America, they might think that's talking about an actual archer, a guy that goes in the woods with an actual bow. Cause that's what they call him. But that's talking about when it said called together the archers, it's talking about the uh the nations with uh the nations with nuclear capabilities. And it's saying called together the archers against Babylon. Babylon aka America. All ye that bend the bow, and when it say bend the bow, the bow is that, and the bow in the scriptures is like uh, it's like it's pretty much the nuclear silos, the nuclear silos, which those things are used to set the nu the the missile in, and that's what propels it out of the atmosphere, you know, in the air or out of the atmosphere to be used, man. So and like I said, it's pretty much telling you, all ye that bend the bow camp against a camp against it round about let none thereof escape recompense her according to her work Re according to all that she has done do unto her for she has been proud against the lord against the holy ones of israel man and it's telling you pretty much all of you nations that has the new the nuclear capabilities man bend the bow man shoot at her man Take this place down, and, that, and that's what we waiting on, man. We waiting on, you waiting on for the lead to be be flying, man. Nations at war, World War Three, man. Cause that's that's the major one of the major prophecies that that's uh to come. You know, we you hear you hear uh, a lot of guys, you know, make reference to World War Three. Why they don't make reference to World War Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Because the World War III is the end all be all, man. That's the that's gonna be the last hoorah. The last of the last of the most of the, pretty much the the white man's kingdom. That's this was gonna bring this man down. But let me get this other one. Excuse me. It's Joel chapter. Let me start at, uh, start at, start at, uh, yeah, let me get it, I'm gonna get it right here, man. 
This is Joel. This whole thing good too. I'm gonna start at uh, I'm gonna start at one. Joel chapter two verse one. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. It says, uh, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, as the morning spreadeth upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There have none there has not been seen ever the like. And it's talking about that's when they say a great people and a strong, it's talking about the actual nuclear missile, man. And it says, uh, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. You know, you can find that in the book of Ezekiel, because the Most High is going to, when all the missiles are used on the planet Earth, man, or what's not, not used, whatever weapons of war, we're going to destroy them, man, in that day, because there ain't going to be no need for them, because the, the kingdom of Yahweh Shah is going to be set up. And we're going to be set up as heirs and rulers of the planet Earth, man. This ain't nothing that's far fetched or far off. It is, it is it is near, man. Verse three. A fire devoured before them, and behind them, a flame. So it's describing a nuclear missile. That you know, in a, in a like sense, you know, the same, the same thing people think is an arrow. It is, it is it, you know, the, the, it's it's describing it, man. It said a fire would devour it before them. And behind them, a flame burn it. Talking about the rocket booster. And it said the land is as the Garden of Eden before them. Meaning, and I brought this out over the weekend. The same scripture. How everything's going to be like the Garden of Eden. Birds are going to be chirping. You know, people doing their thing. Nice sunny day. And then it says, and... Behind them, a desolate wilderness. So when those, you know, it gonna start off everything gonna be all green and pretty and birds chirping and whatever. But once those drop, it gonna be a desolate wilderness. Yea, and none shall escape them. And it's talk, like I say, it's gonna be a dreadful day, man. A dreadful day. Many, many are gonna be slayed by these nuclear missiles. The wicked. Of the uh, America is going to be slaved by them, man. You know, all you you wicked people, man. Because the one third elect are going to make it out of here, man. But the the, the Lord is going to leave two thirds of his own people in here and you wicked nations, man. It, it, none shall be delivered besides the one third elect over here, man. All the wicked are going to be left over here to, to burn, man. You You're going to be in the lake of fire for real. This thing is real, man. You see the you see the tension that is, is, is mounting up in the planet Earth with uh with Putin and them, and with uh with these different nations, man. I think I gotta get this one. I get this one right here. Wow, I got it right here. I got it, the pocket for open, so I just get it right here, man. This is uh you know, and it's pretty much describing it for you. The nuclear missile, man. This is a uh, second address, chapter 16, 16, verse 13. It says, For a strong is his right hand that bended the bow, his arrows that he shooted are sharp and should not miss when they, when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So how can a man, an actual man, that's on the planet Earth that has a a, a wooden uh, a bow and arrow shoot an arrow from one end of the Earth to the other? It cannot happen. It's talking about the nuclear missile, man. The ICBM nuclear missile. And, and to show you how spiritual this thing is on the planet Earth, man, the Most High even got Russia to name the nuclear missile... The sickle, man. I think it's called the the SS twenty five, man. 
which is called the sickle. And then did not the most high I believe that's uh the in the book of Matthew, I think the, the uh Matthew thirteen or something like that. How the most high told the angels uh the, uh the stick in the sickle, man. The harvest is right. So the Lord actually gonna do this thing, man. This is it's spiritual, man. You got Russia naming the missile Satan. This thing this thing is is is, is bigger than us, man. This is the most high show. The most high show <laughs> the ending the ending of this place is gonna be used with an instrument of war, which is the ICBM nuclear missile, man. But let me uh let me go back to this. This is it's good right here. This is uh second entry sixteen and thirteen. For strong is his right hand that bended the bow. His arrows that he shoot it are sharp and shall not miss. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come unto the earth. And that's talking about the nuclear missiles. Once they be shot, man, you can't you can't pull them back. You can't uh you can't hit reset on them on them, man. You can't hit reset on them, man, once once they be shot, man. This is verse 15. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundations of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returning not backward. Even so the plagues that are the plagues that shall be sent unto the earth should not return again. And let me get this last part, man. It's beautiful. It said, War is me, war is me, who will deliver me in those days, man? And that's what Ezra was asking. Who's going to deliver him in those days? Because that's going to be a dreadful, dreadful day, man. The most high name is going to be declared in the earth, man. You're going to know who Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is in those days, man. You're going to fear the Lord in those days when, when those missiles get to flying, man. When the most high lay nations and, and, and countries desolate, man, on the planet earth. Mainly this, this great nation. Because of the book of Revelation told you, man, people going to, the merchants of the earth are going to weep, weep and, uh, and cry over, uh, over Babylon, man. The bitch is going to go down in one hour. In one hour, man. And that's beautiful, man. Let me get this. This last one. I think this, uh. Try to find seven thirteen. Right, this is Psalms chapter seven, verse thirteen, and it says, "Uh, he had also prepared for them, for him, the instruments of debt, and that, and that's the instruments of debt." <laughs> It's so it's so much, man, with the Most High, man. It's, the Most High even talks about having a, a armory, man. And that and that's uh Jeremiah, uh, what did it is? Jeremiah fifteen twenty five. The Most High has an armory of, of weapons he can pull out, man. But the main weapon that's going to be used in the planet Earth that's going to reel the planet Earth to and fro like a drunkard, man. It's a, it's the a ICBM nuclear missile, man. The uh, another weapon. The angels of the Lord, man, which are which are gonna come back in the chariots. That's another weapon, and they're gonna they're gonna do a lot of destroying over here. So with that, man, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Shad, double honor to the elders of GMS, peace and blessings to the men that's out there teaching the word with power and with sincerity, man. Shalom.